with Rob Pullman at the Door Peninsula Winery. Rob is the owner. And Rob, how you doing today? Pretty good. How you doing, John? I'm hanging in there. Now, Rob, how long has the winery been here for? Since 1974. 1974. And am I correct? It was a schoolhouse before you guys took it over and turned it into a winery? That's correct. It was a Carlsville Elementary School from 1868 till 1963. So it sat vacant for a little while and then we turned it into the winery. Well, you guys have certainly done a nice job with it here. How many wines do you guys make here? We have over 50 wines available that we make here in-house. Pretty, pretty good. Let's start drinking, huh? School's in. We're now standing in the Carlsbad Elementary Schoolhouse cloakroom. This is actually where the kids, when they came to school, would hang their coats. There, these are some lunch boxes that were left behind. What's so nice about the Carlsbad Elementary School and why we turn it into Door Peninsula Winery is the basement, which we're going to be going to next. The original basement of the old Carlsbad Schoolhouse, this was actually the boiler room. What made this such a great place to make wine is the thick walls in this basement. It keeps constant temperature downstairs here around 60, 65 degrees year round. And this used to be our fermenting room. This is where we made all the wine for the first 25, 30 years that this was a winery. Uh, we now have put it into a barrel room on this end where we're going to start aging some red wines. And then we also turned it into a video room. We have Charlie Cherrywood who narrates our tour down here. A short video about Door Peninsula Winery and making wine. This is our bottling area. This is our bottling machine. It's made in Italy. Uh, we can do up to 200 cases an hour with this machine, so it's pretty fast. We've got two guys that work on it. One puts glass on on this right-hand side. And then in the back corner, I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's a guy who takes it off and palletizes it. The machine does everything else. He fills the bottles, corks the bottles, labels the bottles, caps them, does everything except boxes. So we have a guy that does that. They'll do this all day long, four days a week, year-round. About 110, 112,000 gallons this year, which is a record year for us. And uh, we ship our wines throughout the Midwest. This is our new fermenting room, racking room, filtering room. Over here we have our filter machine. It's a plate and frame filter. It uses dense pads that when we pump the wine through them, it takes out the small particles to clarify the wine. These are actually old cheese vats. We've been fermenting in these since we started the winery in 1974. Uh, they make good fermenting tanks for fruit wines. We do a lot of cherry and apple in these tanks. Now what do you have in here right now? This right here is actually mulled Christmas wine, which is a cherry-based wine, which is what they were bottling. They were bottling out of this tank. That's why the cover kind of sank in because of the suction. Wow, okay. Uh, but we bottle out of these. We ferment in these, like I said. And we have a couple aging tanks over here, those big round ones. Those are airtight. And then down here in our pit, we have... Uh, 1,000 gallon and 1,500 gallon tanks that we ferment in that are ideal for making grape wines. Temperature controlled, new, contemporary, you know, it's modern equipment. We got capacity probably for about 25, 30,000 gallons at one time that we could be fermenting. Uh, we traditionally have probably 10 to 15,000 in here year round fermenting, depending on the season. Well, we got a pretty neat idea of what you guys got down here. What's next in the tour, Rob? Let's go upstairs and sample some wine. Okay, just this once. All right, well Rob, after all that wonderful touring, I don't know about you, but I'm pretty thirsty. But well, we came to the right place. <laughs> we have over 50 wines, starting with our driest wines on this end, and going to the sweet wine. Lovely bouquet. <laughs> That's a nice cherry wine. Rob, thanks so much. It was a wonderful tour. You're a fabulous tour guide. Appreciate the samples. You guys got some great wine here. Uh, again, thanks so much for showing us around today, and uh, we'll see you soon. Thanks for coming, John. Thanks, and take her easy. We'll see you next time. <laughs>